Hi, so what we have here is a magnetic model of the Flim device. It's done on FEMM 4.2, which is a modeling program by David Meeker. It's freely available on the internet. If you want to download it, it's on a GNU license for private use, and I think there's a fee if you want to use it commercially. So what we have here is the H-frame of the Flim device defined as metal M steel M45. Um, there are four coils around the center of the H-frame that you can see and then there are two Neo N50 magnets placed between those coils. What I'm doing is I'm pulsing one amp at eight volts through each of the um, top and bottom coils that you can see and that's the effect it's having on the flux. The flux density is shown to the right hand side with the blue green being no flux density running up through green, yellow, orange, red and purple being the highest flux density. The neos are pretty easy to see, they're flashing between purple and orange and the north north is at the top and the south south is at the bottom. So it's showing what's happening to the fl inside the Flynn device, showing what's happening to the flux as you pulse this current through. Um, one amp to each of those coils at that voltage is uh, 16 watts, so there's a 16 watt power usage. Now it's fairly simple to uh, play around with this thing, so I did. So what I decided to do was instead of pulsing the centre coils that you can see, I decided just to pulse one of the side coils, in this case the left hand side coil. So I'm pulsing it with one amp at 8 volts and that's an 8 watt usage. And as you can see it's actually having pretty much the same effect as it would if you pulse the two centre coils. Um, so I decided to take that down a little bit and I ended up pulsing it with a half an amp at 4 volts and this is the effect that you can see. So it seems that instead of pulsing the two center coils to get the effect, if you just pulsed one of the coils on the end there, it would still produce the Flynn effect. So what I decided to do was pulse it in the reverse direction. So first of all, I'm pulsing it with 0.5 of an amp at four volts uh, in a clockwise, and then I reverse that to counterclockwise and you can see what's happening. The flux is shifting through the Flynn device in a most interesting manner. Now, uh, this is only taking about 2 watts as opposed to 16 watts to get the same effect. So it looks like quite an improvement on the Flynn device. Um, the next thing to do really, and obviously this is just a model so it's all working in theory, the next thing to do really is build a working prototype and, and see what happens when we start pulsing it with that kind of uh, current. So that's what I'm going to do next. Anyway, I thought this was really interesting and I thought I'd share it at this stage. Uh, I'm going to go away now and build a model and I'll show you that later.